Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. I'm going to try and do this with one hand, um, just jumping from one clip to another. So I'm just transferring my Any Fest All Do Ale into the mini pressure barrel. Looking nice and clear. Um, I've bottled up uh, four litres and eight 500 ml bottles, and then I'm just transferring the rest into the mini pressure barrel. So I'll probably end up with about between probably about seven litres in here. Um, I've put the uh, little bit of priming solution in there as well, just to help with the CO2. So yeah, it's looking, um, looking nice and clear going into the fermenter, which is always a good sign. So yeah, I'll stop there guys, and then I'll come back with uh, whatever's next on the agenda. Cheers. Okay, I've finished uh, transferring the last of the any festival do ale into the little mini pressure barrel. So it's swollen out, but that's how it's a bit deceptive. So I think I've probably got about seven liters in there. Um, and I've purged the um, headspace with some CO2. So I, what I do is just inject some on the top, um, release the cap, let all the gas out, repeat that about three times, three or four times. And then I've just got it sitting on about four PSI. So that, that pressure should go up as the priming solution um, uh, takes hold so yeah that's all done so that's good to get that out of the way just wanted to uh, share a sad moment in uh, in any home brewer's life and that is when you just about run out of um, a beer that's tasting pretty good this is my fresh hop Nelson Salvin uh, ran out of the bottles a while ago but um, put some into the mini pressure barrel and that's just about run out as well but um, it's looking really good crystal clear um, as is normally the case the last couple of glasses uh, usually look the best nice creamy head on the top from the little keg uh, let's have a taste see how it's tasting Ooh, still tasting good the hops on the aroma have died down a lot but um, still getting the plenty of the Nelson sort of gooseberry getting some passion fruit as well through the flavor but um, there you go guys, uh, I knew you, um, any of you brewers will appreciate the pain, so uh, goodbye to the Nelson uh, Fresh Hop. Cheers guys. This is probably the most exciting part, well for me anyway, I've uh, had some more beer mail. Um, so I'll start with the ones in the middle here. I actually got three bottles from uh, Sean Gerard. I'll put a link to Sean's uh, channel in the description below. So he sent me a US cream ale. Never had a cream ale, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. So it's got pale malt, pools and flakes, corn, abbey, carapils, cascade of the hops. So that, that looks pretty cool. And here's another one I'm very excited to try as well. This is a citrus smash with Vienna. Now I've done a citrus smash, but I've never used um, Vienna malt. My understanding is the Vienna gives um, the beer a little bit of uh, sort of sweetness, or the Vienna malt gives a bit of extra sweetness. So yeah, really looking forward to that. And the third beer, which isn't here, is a um, a milk stout, which I had with my brother last week, and we both really enjoyed it. So thanks for that, uh, Sean. I've already let Sean know that I that we really really enjoyed that one. So. Yeah, so looking forward to those two. Then the next beer mail that arrived was this beer from Zane Maxwell, aka Rookie Brew, and it's his Kiwi Zombie, all Gladfields malt and all New Zealand hops. So um, it's five percent. This is uh, Zane's uh, twist on the Three Floyd Zombie Dust. So it's an all Kiwi version. So really looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Zane. And then uh, last but not least, this arrived uh, yesterday, was it the day before? So firstly we've got a, this is a 12% um, orange mead from Grant Baker. Um, I don't know any other details other than that. It's got a lot of condensation but it is very, very clear. So really, really looking forward to trying that. I might share that with um, one of the other guys. It would be a shame to sort of sit down and... Um, just drink that all by myself and then lastly we'll just uh, move these bottles out of the way thanks guys for all the bottles I really do appreciate it 
Um, this box arrived. Uh, actually, this bottle was in the box. And inside the box, we have some hot rhizomes uh, that Grant Baker has kindly um, cut out from his uh, his own collection and has sent up to me. So I'm going to be planting those either today or tomorrow. Uh, just got a big bag of potting mix. So this variety is Dan's Dan's Cave, I think it's called. I'm not familiar with that, but I think it. I'm not sure if it's a cross between Cascade and something else. But um, what I might do is break break this up into smaller sections and put them into um, some pots so I can sort of move them around. So yeah, thank thank you very much, Grant. I really do appreciate that. I'm looking forward to seeing how they how they go and hopefully uh, I can get them growing and not kill them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, uh, we'll cut it short there, and uh, we'll come back next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. Cheers.